okay so, so there is one extra thing that I want to mention here regarding the uh, units this is not actually in the uh, in the textbook uh, I uh, I added this to the uh, slides uh, for for this chapter because I was asked this question by one of the students she was actually a brilliant student um, who was taking the course with me and I, I actually it, I, I took some time to figure out how to answer this question, um, and that's why I found that this is interesting to um, yeah, I need to add to the to the slide. So uh, when when I was talking about the units and dimensions, she asked me a question about the dimensions. Uh, we talked about dimensions of different things, and uh, one thing that she was asking about is the dimensions of angles. So if you have an angle, uh, does it have units or? Uh, uh, of course, it has units, uh, degrees and radians, but does it have dimensions or not? Um, and actually, I didn't think about this before, but um, I, I, I found this a good uh, a good example of something that we are not aware of or we are not uh, we don't know, and to find out how to uh, how to get this this information or answer this question. So, uh, the the angles and units uh, the angles have units, degrees and, and radians, but they are, they are dimensions how can we how can we find them uh, we, we know the, the conversion from irradiance to degrees uh, we, we, uh, we, we we know that the radians is degrees multiplied by pi over 180 this is something that you know from from high school but the, the, regarding the the dimensions how can we figure this out uh, the the we can find this by uh, finding an equation a valid equation that we know uh, is is uh, is, is a correct equation and we can check the dimensions of the right and left hand side um, and from this we can know if the the, the degrees have have uh, dimensions or not so uh, if you if you think of uh, an equation that contains angles if, if it's inside a trig trigonometric function it's, it's, it's not considered because the trigonometric functions as I'm gonna mention don't have dimensions uh, sine cosine and tan which are which are usually where you use the angles uh, in 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 yeah, from what I, I was looking for I found limited equations that contain the, the, the angles uh, without trigonometric functions and the the simplest equation that I found was the length of an arc um, we know that the length of the of an arc is r multiplied by theta so the equation is length equals the radius multiplied by theta the if you check the dimensions of both sides you will have the arc length has the dimensions of length the radius has a dimension of length and this is uh, the the angle that we don't know if it has dimensions or not uh, one of the the things that must be uh, satisfied in an equation is that the dimensions of the right hand side and left hand side must be the same so if you look at the dimensions of the left hand side and dimensions of the right hand side length will cancel out and will end up with a uh, dimensionless angle so this is how you can uh, you can check uh, the, the dimension of, of any uh, parameter that you don't know look for a valid equation and from this valid equation you can tell if uh, it has dimensions or not or what are the dimensions of it uh, one other thing for the trigonometric functions we know that trigonometric functions the sine cosine and tan they are a ratio between two angles uh, either it's the um, uh, the the opposite over hypotenuse or adjacent over hypotenuse or opposite over adjacent whatever the the, the two um, the two sides it's ratio between two similar quantities so they are all dimensionless uh, there are other dimensionless quantities uh, like the trigonometric function we mentioned them the exponential if you have exponential of something the exponential is dimensionless the uh, the logarithmic function the natural logarithm or the the common logarithm the log and len they are both uh, dimensionless so uh, if you have any of them it's easy for you you don't consider them as uh, uh, in, in your in your dimensional uh, check uh, so and I, th I thought this is this is a um, nice thing to know so I um, I shared it with you and uh, by this I end the part of the unit conversion I hope we, we uh, yeah, covered the the important parts of it and I hope you now understand why it's important and know how to do the unit conversion yourself um, next time I will talk about the uh, way of writing numbers it's uh, it's not related to what we're, we're mentioning here it's part of the chapter it's very important so I'm gonna cover it and um, uh, the next video would be the end of chapter 2 and then we will move to chapter 3 after the next video so I'll see you then